I'm David. I come from Slovakia. I'm 12 years old and I love Sarvaš. Sarvaš rocks. Sarvaš Kirai. Sarvaš de Mole. Sarvaš is my Mira. Sarvaš Nagyon Kirai. So, what is this place, Sarvaš? It's a Jewish summer camp in Hungary, about 100 miles from Budapest. Like other camps, you can find lots of sports and cultural activities. Sarvash was established in 1990 with pure goal of serving uh, Jewish education for the Central and Eastern Europe, uh, which was a big gap uh, at that time. Sarvash is sponsored by the Ronald Lauder Foundation and the Joint Distribution Committee. JDC operates the camp. The challenge, after the Holocaust and 50 years of repression of Jewish life under communism, to enable young Jews of Eastern Europe to find and build their identity. They have no knowledge on Jewish life. They have no backgrounds. The camps serve as a catalyst to rebuild Jewish life, having songs reconnecting uh, with religion, culture, and, and the state of Israel. And they have fun while they are reconnecting Jewishly. In the first few years, there were like one or two countries participating, mainly Hungary, uh, former Yugoslavia. Today we have 25 countries uh, coming to Sarvash every summer. The number of uh, campers is between 1,200 and uh, 1,600 every summer. I think that Sarvash was the biggest, had the biggest impact of anything in my life uh, that actually marked the way I've developed from when I was 10 up until now. It's not just a summer camp. It's a way to engage with how you are Jewish in the world. And Sarvash is building community. Because you're all Jewish, so you already have something in common, so that like strengthens you together. Here coming to Sarvash, you can express yourself in so many ways other than just uh, words. Here we express each other in song, in dance, in so many other ways. Everybody brings their own cultural background, the, the mentality, their own colors from their own countries. This is what makes this, uh, this uh, camp very international. Underlying it all is offering a Jewish experience where there was very little. Judaism at Zarvash is a very pluralistic experience. It's where religious and secular Jews come together. It's because me personally, I'm not heavily religious to say it like that. I've met people, as I met today, people who have very orthodox ideas. And I was like, okay, your opinion, your opinion, my opinion, my opinion. And where the European Jews are joined by Americans and Israelis to share the experience. Just being here has exposed me to all the different culture and all the different opinions and viewpoints. Being from Israel and coming to Europe for the first time and seeing all the Jewish people from all around Europe who come here and learning about what happened to the Judaism in this part of Europe, in Eastern Europe. There are communities here where uh, Judaism is an obvious thing, an everyday thing, um, taken for granted. And uh, from other side, we have uh, communities as, uh, let's say, Albania or uh, Macedonia. One city, one Jewish family. And uh, they don't have the Jewish bookshelf, they don't have the synagogue, they don't have JCC, they don't have nothing. When they meet other communities with huge number of Jews, it gives them hope they, uh, that they're not alone. I'm Bessart from Albania, and I'm the only Jewish teenager living over there. Every day at Zarvash is a life-changing experience, because with fun, there's also responsibility. Well, we're cleaning the cemetery because, first of all, it's a mitzvah, and we want to remember the people that passed away. The camp is alive with discussions and discovery, but Zarvash is also where kids can find time to share quiet moments with new friends. I'm sure or they can let it all out. We have this huge opportunity to meet other Jewish nations. Adelina and I met here in the camp and we are still very good friends after four years. And Zarvash might be that place where you meet that special someone, which is no small thing when there are so few Jews in your country. And which, which country has the best boys? Poland. Poland. <laughs> Poland, always the Poland. Okay. And Hungary, second place. And Zarvash is where Jewish leadership is being developed.
Well, the mission of JDC has been always to help communities become self-sufficient. Today, when you look at Europe, especially in East Europe, all the leaders of, of the communities came from Sarvash. Most of these kids, when they come back to their own communities, they become leaders. So what we expect from them is that they all become active uh, players in their own communities. I can say that because of this camp uh, and the influence and impact that had on me and my youth, I, with my friends and the community, of course, we opened the Jewish elementary school in Croatia eight years ago. This June was the, the end of our first generation that had graduated from elementary school. And we start training them to be young leaders in Poland, the way I was trained here by Sarvoš team uh, to become a leader. Don Shabbat, it was like I was back home, I, where I, I should have been my whole life. I felt Shabbat was was something that really was important for me. Shabbat Shalom. The centerpiece of the Tsarvash experience is Shabbat. It is preceded with much preparation, discussion, and celebration. We get to celebrate this day with everybody, and that it just it feels like a holiday. It doesn't just feel like Shabbat, like it feels like a like a little national Tsarvash holiday. <laughs> this place is incredibly exciting. There are young people here learning and engaging with Judaism like they've never done it before. It's a surprise to find renewal of Jewish life here. It exists, it's bubbling from the ground up. From Sarvash, which is where young people get together, we develop leadership. And they want to know, who are they? Where have they been? What does it mean to be Jewish? And they're asking all those questions, and Sarvash is helping with the answers. It makes the, the sense that like you belong to a big family. Everybody takes care of, uh, of each other. And Sarvash creates the feeling of, uh, of global Jewish identity. I've learned that anyone who feels a connection to Judaism um, can live a very full, rich Jewish life, regardless of where you're from. Actually, I'm in love with this camp. It's the best, the best experience ever. It's, it's an opportunity that no one can be that lucky to have it. They say like a home is a place where you knock and they open the door. I knocked here, they opened the door here, so this is my home. 